First and foremost, you guys know I always start with my brows. So, I'm just filling them in and um, that's basically it. This is how I do my brows every time I do my brows. Cleaning it up with concealer. That top of my brow is going to look more highlighted than the rest, but it's fine because the foundation will settle that score. Now into the eyes. I'm using Quite Naturals Paint Pot by MAC. This eyeshadow palette. I don't even know, I don't know if I can call it a palette, but um, it's from NARS and it's the Andy Warhol um collection. This gold is from the um, Elf Neutral. I think it's like 188. It's not 188. It's probably 88. Um, it's from that palette, and I really, really love that palette. Like, it's very pigmented. All the colors I've used so far are really, really nice. And I'm lining my lids thicker than I usually would because of this look. Because I do have like almond shaped eyes and smaller eyes. And then I don't have that much lid space. <laughs> so I never go thick with my um, eyeliner. Unless I'm going for a certain look. And this is the complete eye look. Very simple. I know I say everything is very simple. <laughs> I'm just gonna prime my face with this makeup magnesia. And that's what I used to prime my face all the time ever since I started using it. And don't mind the white stuff around the rim of my head. That's my moisturizer. I don't know why this, every time I moisturize my face in the morning, it's just that part of my hairline, just, it's just always that color when I add my moisturizer, but whatever, I don't care. And I'm using a Lancome tint, I think that's how you say it, in the shade 550. Um, when I run out of my favorite foundation right now, because I'm using a sample, when I run out of my favorite foundation, I'm going to buy that foundation because I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm so, like, I'm very loyal to Makeup Forever, and I'm sure I'll buy another Makeup Forever, but I'm going to get this Lancome foundation. It is amazing. I'm so in love with it. I think I was laughing because I just felt like this foundation is just so flawless. Um, I love it. I'm just going to use concealer and I'm using heavy concealer like a lot. I would never really use that much. But because in this look, Alec Weck, um, her face is very highlighted and golden. Like it's to the core. So that's what I'm doing. And usually... That contouring my nose part, I never, ever, ever 
ever. I probably highlight my nose, but I never contour my nose. I like my nose, like the cutest little button ever. Um, I like I said, steps I don't usually do on a regular basis unless I'm doing a certain look. I don't like. I would never contour my nose, <laughs> but I'm only doing this because her nose in that picture is very contoured. Um, and I'm just highlighting that part right there like below my cheek and usually I wouldn't contour or highlight my cheek either but something I started doing and I like it I don't need to really contour because I have really high cheekbones and I love it but extra va va voom don't hurt nobody and I, I go for that va va voom stuff like I'm very bold so I usually don't try to fit in so if you do want to do this makeup you do it according to the way you like it you don't have to do stuff because it's done by other people just do it the way you like it so all I'm doing right here is blending 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 is very important especially with this look because I'm gonna be using a lot of gold and I'm not using like a shimmer or anything like that. I'm using like eyeshadow gold. You guys will see that in a couple of minutes. And I'm still looking all palish and ghostly. <laughs> and I'm just adding that dark contour color like on my jawbone. And then I'm gonna set the concealer. I do your body, sick my sick my figure it, no come they don't me. Boss it I can't draw me late. More bodo, yeah, one photo, sapa mossy moto. I'm not gonna add the powder on my nose on purpose though. And I'm just gonna use my powder brush to put all this craziness into place. It was no product on that brush, but now I'm gonna add product back on my face to tone everything down. Nobody got time to be looking cray cray. Now the gold eyeshadow I told you guys about, she's like, it's like they dipped her in gold. <laughs> to me, it was just very golden. Her face is just like, her highlighted part is just I don't know if, the, if it's the way they airbrushed it. And I'm just going to use my blush brush to set this all in place. She didn't have blush on in this look. And then right in the middle of my, not my forehead, but between my brow, if I had a unibrow where that would be, um, you see how it's more golden than the rest of them? I left that there on purpose. I didn't blend it in. I wanted the middle of my forehead, not my forehead, but you guys get what I'm saying, to look like real shiny, like someone slapped gold right there. Right there, you guys see it. In the middle of my brow. And now it's just time for some lips stick to complete the look and I'm not doing the um black lip liner in a neat way on purpose because I just wanted it darker but I don't know what happened to the darkest lipstick I have it's somewhere in the world in my room and now I'm just gonna go add um that same gold eyeshadow I used to highlight my nose and 
my cheek I'm gonna add that on the lipstick because her lipstick is dark, like a deep red but it had sh um, not shimmer it had gold pigments in it and that completes the look guys thanks for watching I will see you in my next video